Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here with another fragrance review. And today, the fragrance that we're going to be reviewing is another Middle Eastern fragrance. And this time it's from the house of Paris Corner. It's Paris Corner Kahila Platinum. Now, in case you were wondering what this fragrance is inspired by, it is inspired actually by one of my absolute fragrance favorite fragrances of all times. Um, this would be in my top five, if not in my top three. This is one that I wear a lot, and I wanna say I wear it a lot in the summer, but that's not true. I wear it a lot just in general. From the house of uh, John Bob Gautier, it's Le Beau. And why do I love this fragrance? This is a really tropical fragrance. The three notes listed are uh, base note of tonka, mid of coconut, and and top note of bergamot. Um, if you didn't know, one of my favorite notes is coconut. Uh, I love that creaminess. I don't think it's too sweet. It just reminds me of summer. So let's go ahead and talk about it. When this opens up, you're gonna get the coconut and tonka. I think it's a little lighter on that bergamot than the John Paul Gaultier. So I'm smelling them both right now in the opening. I think the, the bergamot is definitely more pronounced in this guy right here. And for that reason, in the opening, this one actually comes off as a little bit more tropical than um, the Kahila Platinum. Yeah. Um, and I think when it opens up, you're going to get a little bit more um, oomph from the Lebeau versus Kahila Platinum. Now, here's the thing. As this starts to dry down, they become more similar. Do I think, in my opinion, that these are one-to-one? -one? I don't, but I think that this right here gets you pretty close to the Lebeau, and Lebeau has been a little bit harder to find lately. So, for me, I think if you can't find it, I would reach for this, but I also think this, if you like Lebeau, I have no issue personally owning both because I love a tropical fragrance. I love something that you're gonna get coconut from. And as this dries down, the tonka becomes more prominent and the tonka in both of these fragrances, I actually really love and it's still summer appropriate. Tonka is an amazing note and I think that it's awesome that it can be done so in many different ways. What I noticed about this fragrance is one time I wore it and I sprayed it on clothes. I don't spray anything on clothes anymore, but I had this shirt in my room and I was on vacation and I came into my room one day, it was like a day later, and the Tonka was blasting off the shirt, but it smelled so good. And I'd worn it in summer a lot. I still wear it in summer. I wear it all seasons. Uh, I'm really into that DNA. So it's really hard for me to, you know, have a winter day and not want to wear that. So in my opinion, I think it's close enough. I think if you really like that DNA, you might as well have both. I have both. And I think they're both good. I just, I don't think that they're one-to-one. -one. I almost feel that this the um, Kahila Platinum is a little bit more fresh. So I think for some of you, if the Tonka and Lebeau is a little bit too much for summer, I would say Kahila Platinum is probably the direction you wanna go in. So in my opinion, if you want something a little bit fresher, I would say go with this. Now, performance on this. I feel like people knock the performance on Lebeau, but if I don't overspray Lebeau, I get really good performance. I mean, honestly, guys, I get over eight hours and it's a summer fragrance. Now, make sure that your skin is really hydrated because um, otherwise it may not be as good. But I can't imagine getting any less than six hours of this. The Tonka is pretty strong and the way that it mixes with the coconut makes this fragrance um, a pretty good projector. Longevity, though, is going to be more than your projection. Good projection for the first probably two hours, honestly, but the sillage is really good on this one. The compliments that I get are typically from people that I like pass by and they notice. This one is definitely a compliment getter, but um, anything with that Tonka sweetness is gonna get you compliments, pretty much guaranteed. 
Now, I don't want to give you that guarantee because obviously a, a lot of other things come into play when you talk about compliments, but I think for me, the projection on Kahila Platinum was less, but longevity was, I would say around the same. I got over eight hours, um, maybe, maybe a little bit more than eight hours, between eight and 10 hours every time I wore the Kahila Platinum. But again, though, it wasn't super loud. I think in the first hour and a half though, it did pretty well with projection and the sillage is also pretty good on this one. In terms of who can wear this, I honestly think with both of them because they have that nice tonka and coconut, I think anyone can wear this. It is a little bit more playful. It's not necessarily a mature scent, but for summer, I don't know that anyone's really looking. I mean, I guess you could wear things that are like a little bit classier, like something with like an Italian uh, perfume scent, but this is really nice and i think anyone would love it the compliments on this dna guys it's creamy sweet tropical they're there obviously season wise spring and summer leaning heavily into summer day or night in my opinion you could definitely wear this on a date night you could wear this dna on a date night on a, a night out um it actually has a lot of versatility in the summer. Tropical fragrances in summer, I wear them all of the time, day, night. Typically, you're probably not gonna wear them in office, but you could. They smell that good and they're not offensive. So yeah, I mean, I honestly don't have anything bad to say about this. You guys already know that this DNA is my favorite. So for me, this summer, I'm definitely gonna be wearing both of these because they're really good. And again, if you like Le Beau and you want something in that vein, maybe a little bit fresher, I would go for Kahila Platinum. And for the price, I think it's $42.99. Uh, I'll link it down below. And I think I actually have a coupon code, which if I find it, I'll link that down below. If you've tried this fragrance, comment down below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, if you liked it, be subscribed to my channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop another video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.